It is a special year for the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec. The hotel is celebrating 125 years, and it's taking visitors back in time. Maya Johnson has a story. Standing tall, high above the St. Lawrence River. Very amazing. I like this. It's beautiful. It's lovely. The Chateau Frontenac never fails to impress. And that's unique. We love it. It's Quebec City's most recognizable landmark, and this year it turns 125, aging gracefully the way a castle should. It was inspired by the original Chateau uh, of La Loire okay. in France, and um, so it was kind of a very trendy thing at the time. With a year-long celebration underway, it's an opportunity to look back on the hotel's history. There's a reason why the hotel is, is situated here. Uh, we're literally on the spot of the original Fort Saint-Louis, so where Champlain resided and, and founded Quebec City and Nouvelle France, uh, New France. So there's really a wealth of, of history and things to celebrate during our 125th. From royalty to rock stars, for more than a century, the Chateau Frontenac has welcomed a long list of the world's most famous people, including world leaders. In 1943 and 1944, Canadian Prime Minister William Lyon Mackenzie King hosted U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt and British Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Together, they hunkered down and planned the invasion of Normandy. It was an amazing piece of history. The, uh, during the planning, they basically took over the entire hotel for over a week. And uh, it was, we played an instrumental part in the planning of the major battle of World War II. Now that spring is here, the Chateau is celebrating the new season with free guided heritage tours for the next two weekends. The hotel is also working with the Quebec Symphony Orchestra, creating customized music to celebrate the milestone birthday. And Steve Barricade, a famous composer, musician, is launching the first hymn, uh, our hymn for the Chateau Front Act will be the first hymn of a heritage hotel and of a heritage building uh, in the world. So we're, we're thrilled. Thrilled and eager to invite everyone to the party. Maya Johnson, CTV News, Quebec City.